Uh, you know, one of the things what, so people have asked me, what are um, uh, some of my favorite books or a favorite book? Well, again, pleasant surprises uh, in terms of what book covers. Because what I find, Chris, with your work is that even though it's um, within a specific genre, which is romance, mm -hmm. and even though it's in a specific subgenre within that genre, which is military romance, and by the way, I'm blown away by, by your breadth of, of knowledge on this stuff. I'll, I'll just sort of go along and be like, yeah, of course, of course, if you wanted to do this procedure, then you would do this. And, and so, <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah, definitely. Okay. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but, uh, even within that, there are just so many wonderful genres um, and, and types of stories that you cover. Um, I think uh, two recent uh, highlights that I've enjoyed are the story of Lycos, um, because that has so much information about, you know, what a, what a true off the grid uh, survivalist uh, lifestyle can look like. And I just found it delicious, uh, sometimes literally, because it also has a recipe for uh, snow ice cream. Snow ice cream. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but um, also uh, just, just like, yeah, okay. So if you have uh, your residence heated like this, then this is the thing, this is the logistic that you have here. And, you know, just, just the environs of, of being up on the mountain and um, having everything sort of in its place. And here is how regularly you go into town to get supplies. And here's how you make supplies last. And here's how you make your own supplies. I just loved that. I loved being in that world um, for, for the time that we were working on it. And then with Gabriel's story, um, which is a, um, uh, a prequel, as if, if you will. Mm -hmm. um, with Gabriel's story, I love a good murder mystery. Um, <laughs> and, um, and, and this uh, Gabriel's story, those of you who um, have not read it yet or listened to it, um, is this epic um, uh, murder mystery romance that takes place in New, New Orleans. And I loved doing that one. And I, that, that was one where I, where I uh, maybe got back into the pants because I, I, you know, wanted to, I wanted to enjoy the mystery of it. Um, so and anyway. And um, you did, you did Remy. Uh, I had a uh, Creole, uh, somebody who spoke, spoke Cajun and Remy, and you did him well. You oh, did I appreciate him so well. That well, that's great. the other thing that's that's so much fun about about your books. I get to go to school um, even more accountably on my accent work, um, and that's uh, that's that's uh, something that those of you who are familiar with my channel, I've got uh, maybe I think like eighty accents now up. Um, you know, who's counting at this point? But um, <laughs> I, you know, there are uh, when I'm doing uh, one of Chris's books there'll be a character who has a particular um, accent or a particular region that they come from. And um, I am like, okay, go time, time to, time to research something and I can make a video out of it. Um, Malachi, which is the most recent project that we completed, um, mm -hmm. it'll be coming out on audio soon, um, uh, has uh, the mo most of it takes place in Virginia. So I was like, okay, Virginia. Let's research. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was able to pop out with a uh, with a Virginia video um, yeah. from that, which was great fun. Um, Chris, what what are some uh, what are some of the more uh, enjoyable adventures that your books have taken you through? Um, uh, oh, where where you know you suddenly realized that this was this was just more fun than you anticipated. Um, Asp's book, I got to research Colombia. Mm. And I tell you, it was, it was amazing learning the history of Colombia because I had, to, I had to incorporate the history in order to bring the backstory to life in Colombia. And um, to me, that was an enlightening um, educational uh, period. And it opened my eyes to the struggles of Colombia and what was happening in that country. I had no idea. I, and literally, I just put my finger on a globe, say, okay, we're going to write this person coming from Colombia. And, and so I just started to um, research, okay, what, what's, what's the crime in Colombia? What type of drug aff affiliations? What type of, you know, organized crime and everything? So I, I'm getting into the crime portion of, of the country. And then I started reading and it literally for 
probably about three weeks after I get done writing for the day, I go do research for the next book or for what I think I'm going to be doing in the next book. And I would, I would go back and I would find these things about Colombia. I couldn't use them all, but I was so interested in Colombia's past. And the biggest compliment I've ever gotten, there's been a lot of them, but this one was a major one, was from a reader who said, I am from Colombia and you portrayed my country perfectly. Mm. It was I, I, mm. I have chills from that comment, you know, and I've got that saved. That is a, that is a huge thing for me, you know, along with the other um, people who say, you know, you, you've helped me get through these certain situations in my life with your words. I, it, it, uh. it humbles a person. It really mm-hmm. does. But mm-hmm. yeah, that's I, I love the research. I love the research part of it. I can dig, you know, at the NSA, the CIA, you know, all the all the alphabets. They're going to look at my search, and I can show them in a book every place I put it. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> but but yeah, I, I got some really weird search uh, search histories.